Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Gunplan TV where we preview all the latest releases that we get in stock from Bandai yep. and other makers such as Kotobukiya. And we gotta say, this is a pretty big week! Hell yeah. Heck yes. Okay, so... Can't even see Todd. <laughs> can't even... You can barely see me behind, sitting behind this ginormous box. It's not every... It's not every week you get a perfect grade that comes into stock. No, it's not. It's not. I think was that uh, that old double O Gundam. It's the last one. That was the last one. I think was that was that last year. Yeah, it was. Well, it's. I mean, it's last... certainly not this year. No, it wasn't. No, it definitely wasn't this year. I think it was last year. But yes, it was just in the same vein as that one, though we have this new release, which is the Perfect Strike Gundam <laughs> PG. So. This is, of course, based on the original Perfect Grade Strike Gundam kit, which was released in November of 2004. So you get this 15-year-old kit, but it now comes with these fancy new uh, Ale Striker pack and other weapons and what have you. So you get some new parts to make it the Perfect Strike Gundam. Doesn't that look awesome? That looks Awesome. Awesome. All right, Bandai reusing their tooling, just adding some bits onto it. So for retail, the regular release, yeah, we'll have the entire kit. Unfortunately, if you already owned like the Perfect Grade Strike Gundam, you just wanted to buy the new option parts. That was something that Bandai made as an online exclusive, exclusive only. Yeah. So we are not able to sell that optional set, unfortunately. But you can buy the entire thing, which comes with both the Perfect Grade kit and all the new parts. So did you make that the is original? exciting. I have actually never built the Perfect Grade right, Strike so this is good Gundam. For you. So this will be my first time ever building it. So I'm kind of excited to get a crack at doing that. So nice. I will, because I still haven't finished that Master Grade either. The mm. The double Zeta, the full armor double Zeta. So I still. Are you have... going to do that first, or are you going to do that it? first? Because okay. I've already started it. So I've already started it. So I have to finish that, and then I'm going to do this one. So it's nice. going to be busy, a busy, busy week. Busy, busy, yeah. And we've got something else that's in a big box, but it's not Gundam. What is this, Dave? This is another Figurize Labo. Oh, the fourth one. The fourth one. So I actually think you built the first two. You 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 always forget, well, I... but. Bought the first one because we had such a limited quantity oh, of you that didn't one. Get show I couldn't do it on the show, but we had we were still able to get extras of the second Fumina release. So I did buy and or I did build and review the second Fumina release. But then, then I did the Miku. You did the Miku. That's something now else I haven't this. bought. And actually, this one. So what? What is this? This, this looks is quite Kotori Minami. Quite fabulous. Love quite live, but elegant. Um, I just love the way that. Um, how the detailed the dress is. Uh, detail, yeah, that dress and looks the, really detailed. Like it's not flowers. just the flowers and stuff. They actually, this is part of their selling point. They're like a fluffy skirt adorned Ooh. with various technology. So it's using that double um, injection technology, uh, on the, the labo skirt technology. Okay. Yeah, well, I think so. There's an underlayer, um, obviously on the skin and in the, uh, and the eyes, eyes yeah. and face. Those fancy eyes. So that's actually face. quite a big box. That is a big box. It's Compared much to the other than one. the Fumina and yeah. the Miku kit. So they keep cranking these things out. I guess they must be selling pretty well for them. Yeah. But, well, people uh, love it. Yeah, I don't know. Is Love Live really popular overseas as much mm, as it is here in Japan? Sure. It's there's, really popular here. It is really popular here. There's one guy in our that works in our office that's a big Love Live fan, oh, so yeah. Maybe we should I think they might be really excited for this one, so we'll have to see. But yeah, I'm actually, I'm kind of tempted to order this one myself, you know? Maybe, like, put on some extra add-on weapon packs and whatnot. <laughs> Take Give off those like, flowers and put on put some, some grenades put, or something. Yeah, put some thrusters <laughs> on there, have, like, a full armor. That'd be sick if you could hack this. That'd be Wouldn't awesome. it? Unfortunately, like the other figure eyes kits, this is like a fixed pose type thing. So there's yeah, no type of like that though. It's, yeah, it's just a. It figure. means that you don't have any finicky parts to try and pose and stuff like that. Mm, that's like true. Like yesterday, yesterday when we were building that. Um, oh, you the, the Soryu Mario yeah. thing. Yeah, Aoi. Yeah. Aoi, that that was that was kind of interesting, but. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, people that buy fixed pose figures, they they tend to be just more people that buy something that's pre-assembled, pre-painted. Yeah. Whereas this is something you have to build it yourself. But it looks like a, like a figure like at the end. There's stickers included, and those type of people might not have really good nippers to be able to clean those nubs off. So I, Yeah, you've got to stand it down. I think this is kind of more for like people that build Gundams, like me, that just kind of like to do different things, things every now yeah. and then. So I think that's kind of like the main 
core people that buy this is actually Gundam fans. <laughs> Gundam fans that like girl kits as well. I mean, it's interesting. I, yeah. I got a hand. It's a Bandai. Also, did we show off the back of the box? Yeah, the, it's awesome. And like, the back of this box art. has really nice artwork for her too. So that's really great. And then everything on here is in Japanese and in English. So you can read all about it. So yeah, that is unlike, quite, quite cool. Unlike this unlike one, which one? was made yeah. in China, so it's just Japanese. Well, yeah, that's the Bandai collections. Bandai Hobby, they're really good about giving us the English these days. So, But fabulous. I know what you're looking forward to. Yeah. So we've got I more joke, that's 30, your mi favorite stuff. 30 minutes missions. 30 minute missions. We got option two parts. kids and option parts. Actually, I was looking at the option parts, and I think these option part weapons look really kind of spiffy. These are nice... Pretty nice looking option parts there. And actually that one's, that one's cool. the Port Nova, we've seen the Port Nova before, but now we get it in black. But the other one is different. This is This is Halo for sure. That is quite Halo, but That's also it comes with these G. optional feet. That oh, gives wow. you like tank track type feet. Yeah, that's cool. So I do not remember seeing that on a previous release before. And you can put them on his back. But there's well. so that's many cool. of these things that it might I might have seen it and just have completely forgotten about it. But yeah, those tank track feet. That's quite quite cool, quite interesting. I have to say, what say yes. you, Dave? No, I say that's I know quite you, cool. You you were actually the thirty minute missions expert in here because you did that live build with Scott. Yeah, of course. Now speaking of Scott, next week we are going to be live streaming, streaming this, this episode. episode live because Dave won't I'm be here to edit the episode, so we're just going to do it live. And Scott will be joining me next week, so, so look forward to that. Don't screw up. Man. Don't screw up. We don't have any chance to edit, so it's we're, yeah, we're doing it live. But that's how it was before when you used to edit stuff before me. Oh, it was just yeah. a one take time. It wasn't live, but it was a one take. It wasn't live, but yeah, back when back in the day, good old days of Ryan. I don't know if you're still watching this. Hi, Ryan, if you're still out there. <laughs> but yeah, you used to edit. I think it was just put the intro and the end, and that was it. Whatever happened, happened. Good old days. Oh yeah. Good, good, good days. All right, so we do have one more thing that is not. Gundam or Bandai release. This one also came in. I'm not quite sure about the current stock. I know there was yesterday, I think it was. I when saw I was... it on the site today. You saw so it? It was definitely there. Okay, it was definitely there. That's good to know. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we've got the Blade Liger AB. That's nice. Isn't that nice? A lot of... Actually, I have... Uh, oh, lots of decals. Lots of decals. Decals, man. Decals? Yeah. Oh, water slides. Never going to be doing them, are you, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. I, I remember I built a Blade Liger before, but it was the moving one. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, speaking of Ryan, shows. actually, I gave that one to Ryan. So I built that one, and he, took and it. he, he has it still. I wonder if he still still has it. My poor Blade Liger. It's in Australia now. It's in Australia. Is that where he is? Mm. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, so, no giveaway, yeah, as we no, said, no, every every month. At the beginning of every month, the first the first episode of every month, we'll do the big giveaway, 5,000 5, yen Hobby Link the Japan store credit. So look forward to that first episode of March. So next week's episode, live streaming episode with Scott, will still be February. It'll be yeah. the end of February, so we'll it's not gonna be, be next on, week's episode. So you'll see it'll this on our Friday, me. but actually we're going to do it live, so it'll be on the Thursday. The All right, it'll be on Thursday for you next so week. So one day earlier, anyway. One mm. day. Okay, so Dave, you looking forward to next week? Do you want to tell everyone what you'll be up to? <laughs> I'm going to Kagoshima. <laughs> going to Kagoshima. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing in Kagoshima? Getting married. Getting married! <laughs> Dave, well... Oh, that's not a good that's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, everybody, Dave's, Dave's, Dave's joining the, the ranks of the married folk out there. So congratulations, Dave. Thank I hope you, you have Show a wonderful, on the, on a line. wonderful ceremony. Maybe we can put your picture in the, the full-on Japanese kimono on uh, a future episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the wife's face is gonna be all blurred out. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, what are you putting me through? Um, he's like, I'm gonna edit this one out secretly after. Uh -huh. no, I don't know. I love it. But yes, definitely congratulations and good luck to you, man. Thank you. It, yes. It's a wonderful, it's a fun thing to be married. <laughs> Puts them through it. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh. Uh, All right, with okay. that, so if you want to enter in to win the next month's 5,000 yen Hobbling Japan store credit giveaway, all you need to do is post a comma any episode or review that is aired in the month of February, and one lucky winner will randomly be chosen from all of the comments on YouTube and on Hobbylink.tv. And I think that's, that's going about it. to wrap it up for this week's episode. So a lot of stuff that is going to be built and be reviewed in the future. Although, yeah, with Dave being gone, we'll have no one here to do all of our fancy editing. So it might be a little while before we can get some of this stuff up. So. Yeah, well, I mean, you've got to, it's going to take a while to it's build. It's going to take me a while to build this thing. This thing's got a monster load of parts. I wish I could do an unboxing of on these videos, but just time constraint kind of. You could do a live stream of it. But I've got other stuff I've got to do, so I wish I could. Mm. Anyway. Anyway, thank you all out there for watching, and we will see you again next week. Live streaming live stream. with Scott joining one me review. here next week also. Next week is, I mean, we've had the master grade, and we've had the perfect grade, but next week is something else that I've been dying for it to come in. Do you know what it is? No. You forgot already? It's, it's, it's. For me, it's one of the most anticipated releases for February. It's the Hello Kitty Gundam! Oh my god. <laughs> and the Hello Kitty little Haro. Yes, yes. That is going to be exciting. I'm looking so join forward us to those. Unfortunately, that. I think they're limited, so I don't think we can sell many. many of them. But you never know once they come into stock if we have a chance to sell more. There might be a chance, but we'll definitely preview them for you on this show. So Cool. Cool indeed. Thank you everyone out there for watching. And we will see, see you again I'll next like week weeks. or yeah, next <laughs> month for him. So thank you. Bye-bye.